Welcome. Okay. All right. So we um we have a new player today. We have John with us. Uh, hi. Hi. So just kind of go back, go over a little bit the concept. I'm pretty sure we already talked about it and and whatnot. But uh, this campaign is the Living Dungeon. You wake up in a mysterious dungeon, and you and everyone else is trying to escape from it. Uh, if you die, you have two choices. You can resurrect as yourself, or you can reincarnate as a new uh, race and or class. And you unlock races and classes as you go to keep it fun and interesting. I wanted to do this partially for cats, because I know cats doesn't um, have a lot of experience with different like class combinations and things. And for myself as a DM, because I wanted to get better at running things that are not social encounters. I'm that kind of DM. He was like, oh, you want to bullshit with the goblin for the next three hours? Tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun, though. Okay, I, so... I will so, always so, love Sahag, man. <laughs> I, I am definitely down from, like, hours of roleplay. <laughs> okay. Well, just to kind of, like, th just let you know, that's kind of the core concept and kind of the flavor. And uh, minor spoilers, my intention is for you to level up at the end of every game, and when you reach level 20, you will finally have the might necessary to escape the living dungeon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's that's the intent behind it. And uh, so speaking of, uh, let's see. So Steve and Katz, you are recuperating in the starting room. And you see the glowing circle that you previously resurrected from begin to glow. And John, the last thing you recall is you wandered into an old structure an old dungeon, perhaps, and you fell victim to a trap of some sort, and you died. And now you are coming back to life. And go. Oh! Yeah. There are other people in this dungeon? It, 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 it would assume so. I, I, I get, what, what do you mean, this dungeon? Wh where am I? We're still trying to figure that out. We just fought a bunch of skeletons. But the weird thing is, they killed us once, and we just came back. So, you're zombies? No. You seem pretty alive. But you died, and you came back... Zombies. While silent, I just look very terrified and start pinching myself. No, no I, I don't. I don't think we're undead. <laughs> I, I, I will be the judge of that, and I just poke one of them, just <laughs> r like right in the cheek, just very firmly. Who do you poke? Whoever's closest. <laughs> I. I would assume. So just to let you know what you see around you, John. Sorry, I should have said that first. In addition to the glowing circle, you look around and it's just kind of a, a dank, damp, stonework, stereotypical dungeon-esque room with uh, glowing mushrooms on the walls for illumination uh, and food, because you haven't found anything else to eat in here. And you see uh, a dwarf, and I believe, Katz, you said you're going with Halfling? Yes, of the Lightfoot variety. So you see a halfling and a dwarf, and you are a... I'm a human. Just a plain old-fashioned human. You know, just, just... You see, like, a five-foot-five uh, female human dressed in, like, light armor. Or chainmail, even. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And that's something else important I didn't describe to you yet. Um, you have your starting gear, and you will always have your starting gear whenever you respawn or reincarnate. Uh, any items you find in the dungeon along the way, when you die, they get reclaimed by the dungeon, essentially. essentially. Does that mean Cat's lost the glowing mushroom he tied to himself? Uh, yeah. 
Not that he needed it. They're all over the place, but yes. So, um, Katz and Steve, if you would describe yourselves to John so he can decide who he wants to poke. I am a redhead female dwarf. Hey. We're chain mail. Hmm? Uh, I'm a middle-aged halfling, uh, about three foot tall, uh, male, and also wearing chain mail. I'm carrying a sword and a mace. I mean, a mace and a shield, sorry. Uh, I see. Um, my character would definitely poke the redhead female um, dwarf oh. out, of, out of two. She just looks at you confused and says, See? Still alive. Hmm. But you also still died, so I'm go I'm I'm just gonna keep an eye on you. And she, well that's just where I assume you came from. I didn't die. I just fell over and fell asleep. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> And and she pokes you again. <laughs> Just the, there's a look of kind of disbelief and the fascination of just in her eyes and like a kind of a slack jaw as they poke you. And the, their poke is a little bit stronger than just a normal poke, even though you kind of can tell that they're trying not to hurt you, but they can't help themselves. I poke cats since everyone's poking each other. This <laughs> <laughs> is just a poke fest. Perfect. I frown and say, well, well, anyway, you should know that that one door in this room seems to lead to a room full of skeletons. We've we've defeated them before, but I don't know if they'll still be there or not when we go back. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa, we have a real map. Shh. I'm trying to figure this out while you guys are role-playing. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperately trying to fill in my character sheet. I have the level one from Fast Character, but I'm trying to convert to fillable. Yeah, I threw that out there because I knew, you know, you guys were used to roll 20 and stuff like that, and... I believe John mentioned being used to D&D &D Beyond. So, you know, fast character is great for just that. Like, you need a character real quick. There you go. Yeah, I, I honestly just hate filling out sheets. I don't know what is. I I love playing D&D. &D. I just can't fill out sheets. I, I never know what to do. Even though I've been doing it for so long. <laughs> so I just love that autofills. Oh, this right, is how Pog works. Because right now I'm trying to find out what classes I am. Because apparently I'm multi-class with this character, and I can't see where it is on my sheet. Oh, well, let's take a look there. And Kat, I, you need to help leveling up too, right? We can look at everyone's character real quick if we need to. I do. I have the, the basic idea, but I'm not sure on the mechanics of doing it without Roll20 holding my hand. Mm. I assume you've already done your HP. Nope. Oh, you haven't? Um, What's your hit dice? One D8. Okay, uh -huh. so it would just be one D8 plus your constitution modifier. Oof. For doofa. Oh, oh, what happened? Hmm? Cat roll, cats rolled low? Yeah, yeah. I rolled all the two on my HP. Okay. It's okay, though. I'm no, not no, arriving no. this character. Yeah, guys. What's your con mod? Two. Well, that's four HP. That's not bad. That's high for rolling high for a third, three, five edition wizard. 
Yeah, but this was intended to be a tanky cleric. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Supposedly, it eventually all evens out with the law of probability. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm going to check the sheet I sent you earlier. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's um, it says fighter two. I don't see any multi-classing that I can tell. Yeah, because that's what I'm confused because I think you said I multi-class that or something, and that I just didn't look at my sheet again, so I just assumed I did. Oh, it must have been a misunderstanding. That looks fine to me. Um, I think Steve, we were talking about possibly he wanted to multi-class later. Uh, and maybe that's where we got our wires crossed because, because in, in 5e, my understanding of the way it works is like you just take a level in this and you take a level in that. And um, for multi classing, you have to meet like basic stat requirements. Yeah. Like, for example, if you want to be a paladin or something, you have to have a certain amount of charisma to multi into it. But it's okay that I took one level of fighter and the rest is going to be rogue. I mean, it's probably fine. I, if you really want to look up the multi-class requirements, we can, but I'm not stressing it because you're going to die, remember? And you're going to have to make new characters. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, not to show too much of what's under my hat, but you might even incur, uh, run into challenges where you need to have a certain ability that you don't have. And then you die and you have to reincarnate as a character that has that ability. Okay, quick question for everyone. Does anyone know how to go-go dance? Because I think he's trying to tell us we need to know how to go-go dance. <laughs> I can only flamenco. Oh, God damn it. We're screwed. We're never getting out of this thing alive. Fine. I can only do the foxtrot. Oh, God damn it. I can do the foxtrot. <laughs> well, look, we're a perfect pair. Um, <laughs> I haven't done it in a long time, but I can do it. I rolled my ankle the last time I tried. <laughs> I realized, oh, I'm a klutz. So here's the interesting question. I wonder how I actually get rid of fog. Um, you might need to uh, move our characters in, or there might be a wand or something in this tool area. Okay. That you All got right. It. All right, so so you guys have met each other. Are you um, gonna set out? No. Into the dungeon. Into the dungeon. Yeah, it's right. not much good just sitting around past like eight hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. If, if if we are in a dungeon, and if if there's skeletons and you're not zombies. I do massive air quotes like on the zombie part. I think we should try to find a way out because, you know, I left the stove on and the gas prices, you know? <laughs> okay, so are, are you guys on the page where it had... Um, okay, I can't... I'm going to just ask cats. Usually you're the one who does this. Can you do me a solid and show me what you're seeing? Um, I'm on top of it. I just want to make sure I'm not screwing this up because we're all, this is new to me also. Okay, all right. So it's, it looks like that's good and fogged up. Okay, so how do I alleviate fog? Like, how do I reveal fog? Enable fog cutting. Okay, can you see? Scroll down, cat. Okay. I can now see. Scroll down for me on the on the on the on the map. Ah, oh, excellent. All right, so here's that same. Uh, well, familiar to you, guy. Well, you guys can put your tokens out there. Um, and if uh, you don't have one uploaded, you can pick one from the tray at the bottom. One of the default ones. It's up to you. I don't have one loaded yet. I did not know I could do that. Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. There should just be like a fighter token, like a regular old one down here somewhere. Oh, where do I find it? 
things for you watching me panic. You're you're fine. You're fine, cats. No, I don't. I don't want to select. I don't. I'm I don't. Trying. I don't know where you want me to look for these because I it, none of these oh. are showing me. Um... Okay, so um, in Albert Rodeo, if you go on the on your on your pay like um to the bottom, there should be token cats. Is that oriented like that for you, where there's tokens on the bottom? Well, I have props. If now. you're signed in, maybe there would be something there, but I am not. All right. Well, don't sweat it. I'll find the fighter. I'm, I'm signed in and I've got nothing. I think it's a DM thing. That's bizarre. That's bizarre oh, because I was token now. Well, unfortunately, I think he needs to make a token. Here, fighter token. Boom. Yeah. Look. Look at me being all sharp and blunt at the same time. And I will say this. I'm impressed that Albert is using the grid properly when I fought Roll20 for like months to get it to go to the grid properly. Mm -hmm. Like that like John they'll t they can tell you like I Roll20 made me so mad and it was so frustrating. <laughs> Uh, our last campaign yeah. brought to you by Roll20 was a meme every time we had problems, which I don't think skipped a session. No. <laughs> this I time it's not, brought to you by Albert Rodeo. <laughs> I do not envy DMs that have to use that. I can't I can't even deal with the um, character sheets on that. I I just can't. I'm like the only uh, one here who actually likes Roll20. I love Roll20, but because I learned on Roll20, like I need to actually learn D&D here. <laughs> Yeah, where like previously I learned to roll twenty. No, I I am going to run um the Lost Minds of Fandelwin. Fandel I can never say Fandelver. I never say that name right. Um, on a tabletop simulator. Soon. Oh, that's ambitious of you. Um, one of our players who had life stuff and is the reason I'm doing this. She would run her games in tabletop, and that was kind of rough. Um. So if you can pull it off, absolutely, it's really cool because you have the animated tokens and everything. Well, well, I'm I'm doing it very stripped down. I'm I'm using like one one D and D, which is basically a plug and play. You just plug your maps into that, and it just shows up on the table. It's not like a 3D model or anything. Oh, I didn't and know they had integration for that. That's tight. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, there. It's some of the um, there's a table that comes with it. And everything like it's all set up for for it. You just gotta use it. It's slightly finicky, but it's easier to to learn than um, roll twenty. <laughs> yeah. Like all I have to do is find the proper maps for um, that that don't give away anything for fun over. Fun, yeah, fun over, and I'll be fine. You just gotta put them in there, and, oh. and it's just pretty good. Like they have their own pretty good character sheets that you could use and everything. So that's cool. Um, you know, not to like, I'm just, I'm very much the kind of person, my, my communication style is I'm an asker, not a guesser. So if I ask something or I say something, it's not in stone. It's, it's definitely a feel free to say no kind of thing. But if you mm -hmm. wanted to run it in my server, absolutely feel free to, because I would love to play in another game because the game that I'm in is that's run by that player who's gone. That game is also basically dead. So yeah, um, no, I I'm actually running it for a group of people in a, a different server in Lunch Breaks. One of my friends, um, Lunch Break. I'm running for because okay, they were like, oh, we we would love because um, everyone wants to play D and D now because Boulder's getting. And everyone's like, oh, we used to love playing D and D, but our group kind of dissolved. It was like we never could get everyone together. It was like and like I. Just trying to figure out a way to do it. And I was like, does everyone have tabletop simulator? We could try to do that. And it was a yeah. So mm. yeah. Yeah, that's but, cool. Yeah. Cause we have like six people and I think that's a good good enough group for someone that hasn't DM'd in ten years. Ooh, that's a lot. Um so excuse me. So you go into the hallway, which um Katz and Steve you have seen before. 
uh, I will I will stay behind them as they go. <laughs> Just making sure they're not zombies. Like I don't trust them fully yet. So I'm letting them go first. I mean it's completely understandable. You when, died and woke up in a weird room with some people you've never met. Yeah. I'm not paying attention to the to to Katz's character at all. I'm just my eyes are fixated on the redhead, just staring at them. Alright. Also, Steve, I guess that's you you're leading the way, it looks like. I guess I am. And how dare you say I have a type? Rude. I dramatically hide behind Darn it. What is your character's name, Steve? Yorana. Yorana. I wanted it to be a V so bad. Dramatically hide behind Yorana while keeping eyes on our new friend. I look back and say, I'm Gunther, by the way. It's nice to meet you, Gunther. Well, it's okay to meet you. You see, you see their brain kind of start to like overthink what to say, and they're just slightly confused. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they just fall silent. All right, so so you're on us since you're leaving. You did take a level in rogue, yeah. Yeah. All right, how uh, how about you do, before you go into the next chamber, how about you do me a stealth? Stealth. Trying to find it on here. Oddly, it's not that great. It's a plus one. Okay, it's something. something. <laughs> Better than me. Assuming I did this right. That's a 19. Okay, you stealthily enter the next room. Let me get all this stuff up here. Let's see. You stealthily enter the room. Wait, like, like for skills, if I have, if I have it act marked as a skill, does that mean I add my proficiency bonus to it? Uh, let me look at your character sheet. I think so. That feel when you understand the rules and mechanics as well, if not better, than your DM. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Did I already... Let's see. Da, 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 da. I, had, I thought I had a sheet. I'll just open it again. I'll just re-download it. Enhance. Okay. Let's see. I yeah, I would I believe that is the the notation for proficiency. In any oh, case, in any case that makes sense then. Yeah. yeah. So then I'd have a plus three. Well, the passive perception of the thing you're trying to sneak past is actually just nine. So you're probably pretty okay. Let's see, should I be nice and have one or be mean and have two? I think I'll be mean and have two. Always be mean. So you, you, you deserve kindness. So you sneak into the room uh, where you had previously fought the skeletons that killed you. And it seems they have received a, a bit of an upgrade 
There's fewer of them, but instead of four roughly humanoid skeletons, you see two large... Uh, let's see, is that size large? Yeah. Two large skeletons with big ol' axes and horns. We are gonna die. Uh, these are large. Let me let me let me scoosh. Let me make these big. I think that's how that, that's large. That's the scale, right? They take up a ten foot space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you see two big old boys, which fortunately, because you're stealthy, they have not noticed you. How would you like to proceed? I'm gonna stay hidden behind this statue. And wait for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna like take out a dagger and wait for one of those sons of bitches to come within thirty feet of me. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Blade will will um just keep on walking and and just stutter a, a second here, like wh where did it go, like. Not noticing they just disappeared. <laughs> and, I mean, and if you like, do want to do actually, John, since you want you can do a perception mm -hmm. if you want to try to figure out where where uh your honor went. I don't think my character would would be smart enough to think to look. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my character's like, oh they disappeared and is just upset that they disappeared. <laughs> and is just bitching about it. <laughs> Like, did does she do this the whole time and just continue walking, not paying attention to traps or anything? If 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 you're gonna keep me safe, or I mean, if we're gonna stay safe together, zombies, we're gonna have to like have be talking about like what's going on. on. As soon as as soon as I see him, I'm like, shh, get over here. John, make a uh, make a stealth. <laughs> Make a stealth check. Oh, I was not being stealthy. <laughs> At all? Okay. I, oh, no, I was talking loudly, and I was walking with, like, just continuous walking normal. Like, I have no... I don't believe these people about the skeletons. There might be zombies, so they might be lying to me anyways. <laughs> okay, well, um... But I can roll. I got a... 14. Well, well, since you weren't um, even att attempting to be stealthy, one sec. Um, make that a perception instead. Perception. Okay. Yeah. Um, and as long as you don't make a nat one, I think you'll see the skeletons. Perception? I yeah. got a uh, 17. Yeah, so you, you, you notice, you know, as you're, as you're talking rather loudly coming around the corner... <laughs> The two very, very big skeletons with very, very big axes and horns uh, to your left as you're coming out. What would be the most angelic god in the pantheon in our world? Um, that's a great question. I didn't flesh it out to that point. I okay. didn't think it was going to come up. <laughs> okay. Uh Astro Planner, fuck! What the hell are they? And I just, I just trying to scoot back to the wall. I mean, you can, you can say whatever you want. You can invoke whatever deities you feel like. I don't know any of them. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. It's, it's. Make, make one up. I don't make one up if you want. Doesn't matter. All right. So, um, all right. So let's all, let's all do some initiatives. <laughs> hmm. Remember, I have a prepared action to throw a knife when one gets close. Uh, uh, also, Steve, they are those are five foot squares, so I think you've been within thirty feet the whole time. Oh, in that case, can I sneak attack that before we start? Initiative? Well, that's why, well, that's why I was asking if you wanted to sneak and and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if you can. can Sneak attacks aren't considered like crits, so yeah, I think you can sneak attack undead. Yeah, in fifth edition, you you can. Yeah. You couldn't in three five. Yeah, if in fifth, you just have to have like 
the advantage. Right, right, right. Like, well, you, son of a bitch. They just don't. If they don't notice you when you come up on them, you, you get a sneak attack. I believe. Uh, I got seventeen for initiative. Yeah, I rolled fifteen. I have a plus two. Uh, I, met, I missed with my knife. Oh well, no, no, no! Don't do that. Come here. Wow, that's a good initiative. And then my dex is plus one. So that's a dirty 20. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So... All right, so 20. Uh, and so for... John, you said 15, right? Uh, 17. 17, okay. Yeah. Cats, have you rolled yet? Yeah, 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 seven. Seven, okay. Because the little die roller will show me your last roll, so sometimes I can I can peek over there. Mm-hmm. You can also add modifiers to it to the roll, like if you play around with the roller a little bit. All right, so they're dex plus zero, so I don't think they get anything for initiative. So, 17 and 5 for the giant ass skeletons. Okay. All right, let's get this party started. Uh, Yorana, your sneak attack didn't go off, but it is your turn. Or your sneak attack didn't land, I should say. Well, is it still unaware of me? Uh, since it missed. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, because you missed, you didn't draw attention, and they're focused on uh, John coming around the corner, uh, being extremely loud and not trying to stealth at all. Let's see, twelve plus eight, so my attack bonus is five. So that's 17. I think that hits. Uh, yeah, their AC is only 12. And so, yep, it does. Let me like a little... I thought there was like a tool tip here for notes or something, but it doesn't look like it. Let me get a little notepad here. Because last time when I tried to use their names to track the HP, that was a disaster. All right, so their AC is 12, so that definitely hits. Go ahead and do your damage. Yeah, so that's a D4 for the dagger, plus the D6 for sneak attack. That's three. Plus four, seven. Seven damage? Okay, which one do you want to hit? The one on the left. Alright, so skeleton two. You said for seven? Yep. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to have my strength, aren't I? I think that was the whole reason you wanted to get that uh, feat, or that fighting style, I think. So you could add two to it or something, I believe we said. Because remember we talked about it earlier. Oh yeah, it does plus two damage. So, and then I would add my strength, which is three. So that's another five. Okay, you're actually not doing too bad. Yeah, you're right. This was the whole reason I wanted to do that. You're not really sure, but that skeleton seems angry. Do I need to roll another stealth? Um. On well, let's see. You're still not, yeah, not yet, John. I'm gonna put you on the grid because you're kind of like in between cells. So I'm just gonna oh, yeah. scooch, scooch you mm-hmm. and cats. I'm gonna scooch you a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're on a went. 
So Skeleton wanted to her, birdie, what happened? Like, I don't know, something came from over there, and it's gonna tromp. Let's see, it's move speed. It's actually 40 feet, not like that's gonna be a big deal here. But... 5, 10, 15, 20. So go, and it's gonna... So it sees you there. And it's going to take a swing at John, at John. Let's see here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Because mm -hmm. that's, yeah, fair warning. Yeah, I think Steve is right. There is a pretty strong chance that they might off you. So does, 12, does a 12 hit? Ad uh, does not know. I actually have very high uh, high AC. Okay, excellent. It takes a mighty swing and uh, just narrowly misses you. Whoa, and... buddy. You gotta pay to test the merchandise. Jeez. Alright, John, it is now your turn. Um... You are Blade. engaged with it, so you can't run off, really, unless Blade. you use your action disengage. Blade looks flabbergasted at the fact that this skeleton, which kind of looks to to their eyes as fiendish, you, that it would actually attack them, because you know, all fiends love Blade. Who doesn't love Blade? Monsters, mm. that's it. Um, so, in just the disgust. She just look at. She just looks at him and goes, "Fine, this is how you're going to treat me." She takes out her battle axe, and she takes. Now, now for um, fighting style dueling to work, do does a shield count as a weapon? I would need to look it up. One second, because that's what I was trying to check out. I don't know. I don't think so. It says. We need a single weapon. It doesn't say anything about a shield weapon. Let's see. Yeah. Because it says a sword or shield, so I don't know if battle axe counts as, like, uh, negates the shield. Uh, let's see. Plus two damage when using a single one-handed weapon. Okay. Got a thread on D and D Beyond that basically says it can be used as an improvised weapon, but no better. So what I'm getting is that that um, fine. I will be able to add that bonus to the swing. To the yeah, it does, I don't know if you can, can. You let me look up if you can have a shield with that. Yeah, because what I'm getting is the fighting style is ideal for characters who wield. A sword or a sword and shield. So damage okay. is always. In... All right, what I'm seeing here says a shield does not cancel out the dueling fighting style. That fighting style does not even contain the world shield. So, sure, looks like you can use a shield and just make your one handed attack better. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, so I am going to just with my battle axe just kind of. Swing. Now, what did it swing at me with? Was it a sword? Uh, it was a very large two-handed axe, almost as big as it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to try my best to try and sever, or, like, to sever the, their, um, their wrist or any part of that length of arm. With my axe? Mm. I'm trying to think of how you would, if if you can, and, and how you would do that in 5e if you could. Uh, I, I, see. I, think it's, I think it's a higher AC to hit that, that you, would, you would put onto it, or you would give me a disadvantage, depending on how you like, how you would like to play it. Because I'm calling the shop, basically. Let's see. Yeah, I remember that from third edition or three point five. 
I still think that that part's the same. Like calling a shot is just you just raise the uh, the difficulty. Okay, called shots in five E apparently is are done at disadvantage. Um, so I will say that, yes, you can attack to strike its wrist to try to get it to uh, let go with that hand. Uh, it is a two-handed weapon. Um, but yeah, you can try to see if you can strike the wrist to either break it or force it to let it go or something like that. Okay. What what am I doing? Am I just doing it with strength? or? I assume it's like a, a regular attack roll. Just at disadvantage. So whatever you would normally do for your attack, just at disadvantage. But you can do that on the if you um in in Albear, if you click um oh you already found it. Yeah, and plus five is disadvantage. You say? Yeah. So whichever okay. is lower. Uh, thirteen, because I have a plus five to to it. Surprisingly enough, that does actually hit. Um, so here, so I'm trying to dis I'm trying to think because it doesn't really say if this is in lieu of also doing damage or if you. I would think you should still do damage. Uh, yeah, roll your damage. Um. Okay. Um, 10, 12. 12 damage. 12? Yeah, because I want the 8 and plus 3 and um, that 2, plus 2 as well. All right, well. Well, fun little fact, both skeletons now have the same amount of health, and you because you struck it on the wrist, uh, you did manage to get it with that hand to drop its weapon. So next turn, it's going to have to spend its action picking it back up and getting resituated. So I'll put a little thingy on there so that we know. Let's see. This is the most successful I've ever been in d, &D. <laughs> Sure. Let's say it. Let's just say, yeah, sure. Let's say that. It's not really stunned. I just want to put that on there because I don't really see a dropped weapon option. Does that make sense? Yeah. Blade will remember. It's fine. All right. But yeah, just, that's a thing in Albear. They've got these little things that'll help you know what's going on. All right. Anything else for, on your turn? Um, I don't think I have any bonuses to do yeah so I can't move away I'll get struck and I don't like getting struck at 2 so, do you yeah. get action surge um I don't believe I do okay well if the monster is stunned wouldn't he be able to move it's, it's not really stunned it's more that he dropped it the, the monster dropped its weapon it's not that it's yeah. stunned oh, oh that was the on, just the only ring to put on it Right, yeah. I just put that. I just put that on there, you know, for my for everyone to be like, oh, hey, there's something up with this one. I don't have a, you know, a stunt. Yeah, exactly. There's not a this guy dropped his shit because he's an idiot. Uh, ring to put on it. Can you make one custom and add it to Albear Rodeo? Uh, I, yeah. If you if you want to do that, I absolutely could put it in there. Oh wait, um. That would be quite some shit post if I did that. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I could take an action surge right now. I actually do have something. That was weird. I have an action surge. Okay. Give me an extra action in in turn. Mm-hmm. Once, once per uh, short rest, I think. So I, I think in fury that this this skeleton just had the audacity to even swing at me. I I I am um, in fury swing again. Just 
what now that th- there's no weapon, I'm just swinging at them and hopefully I hit. Okay. I will say because you did manage here before you roll. Mm-hmm. I was going to say because you did manage to disarm it. Uh, for this attack and this attack only, you can have advantage because it's going to have difficulty guarding. Okay, I rolled two separate ones. I rolled a two on the first one, and I rolled a 17 on the other. 17 absolutely hits. Yeah, so that would have been a seven and a 22. Yeah, its AC is uh, is 12, so the second one definitely hit. <laughs> okay, uh, so the same thing. Um, uh, part of that is 13. 13 um, in total? Okay. Yeah. In my little calculator here. I will only roll in Albert from now on. Dude, no, no, that's so fine. Good. That's fine. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the roll, it, it showed up. Okay. Uh so you said how you said you said uh eight plus so you said thirteen? Thirteen, yeah, eight plus 13. five. Okay. Because of my uh dueling. Um okay. you guys are actually doing pretty good. You know, for especially since it's the first turn of combat. You guys are doing pretty great. All right, so that takes up your actions, I assume. Mm-hmm. All right. Cats. You are up. Hello. Well, I use my full 25 feet to get closer to help my new buddies, because they seem at, at least less evil than these skeleton dudes. Yeah, fair. And I'll cast Bane on both of them. That requires a charisma save from the skeletons. Okay, and they are not very charismatic. I wouldn't think so. In fact, they get a a nice pl- minus three on the roll. Alright, the one right in front of you gets... What's the save difficulty? Oof, I think it's just 12. Let me double check, but... Because the one who dro- that dropped its weapon got a fifteen, the other one got a that uh, did not drop its weapon got a two. Yeah, it's just twelve. Okay, so Bane, um, it's basically reverse bless where he has to roll a one d four that subtracts from his attack. Like to hit. You hit? Okay. Uh, do I have Bane in here? Bane. Uh, I have hexed, which is close enough. So just to help right. remember. And yeah, just confirm, roll a d4 and subtract the number from attack or saving throws. Nice. Okay. All right. Anything else for you? That's all I got at level two. Okay. So the second skeleton is like, what the fuck is happening? Someone threw a knife at me, and now I'm baned. Why are you baned me, little guy? Urgh. It's going to swing ineffectively at you. It's with its minus a d4. Uh, which is good, because it, it gets a plus 6 on its attack. Ooh. Oh, it nat one. It nat one. Oh, poor thing. So since it nat one, it somehow its gigantic axe managed to slip out of its hand, and it flies over your head. 
and lands up behind you. Like, <laughs> so we're back to the top of the round. I looked around panically, unsure if he tried to throw the axe at me at point blank range. You can. <laughs> That's certainly a thing that could have potentially happened. But no, it threw its giant axe and it landed in the square behind behind you diagonally, uh, behind John, and uh, you know, it's the, the square that's adjacent to all three of you. So, like since, right here. since the hexed one is pretty much still unaware of what's going on, does that mean I still get a sneak attack? Uh, yeah, I would think so. Since it's the top of the round, though, do me another stealth. Their awareness is really shitty. They only have nine passive perception, so it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I guess I can use that eight for my stealth, and that'd be plus three, ten. That works. So you have successfully hidden. Um, so yeah, they are neither of them are aware of you. So that'd be plus five, fifteen. Hits. One plus three plus five. So nine. So the the first one the, the one that's uh, um, the hexed one. Oh, the hexed one. You did nine on that one. Yep. Okay. I suppose the only disadvantage of Albert is you can't really see the HP like you can on roll twenty. They're both close to. They're both they're both looking e close to equally rough. But uh, but yeah, okay. Or can this day get any worse? All right. Do you have action surge? Uh, or no, Steve? Steve? All right, I do have that from being a fighter. And he's still unaware of me. No, wait, I can mm -hmm. only get one sneak attack around, I think. Yeah, but you can still do something else. If you want. I can still just whip a dagger at him. True. That definitely hits him. All right. Four, and then that'd be plus five. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, Picking on the same, the same one? one? Yeah. So that's nine damage. Nine? Okay. So what's, so what's funny is, um, so Steve, I, I was kind of like, hmm, maybe one's not going to be difficult enough. This could have gone really bad. Mm hmm I mean, it still can. They have I, they have an attack that they can do even if they're unarmed. I got very lucky with my rolls. So I assume you're actioned out there, Steve? Yep. All right. So skeleton one. I mean, when you attack, it, it reveals your position, but uh, the fighter is still closer. Or, um, John is still closer. He's going to spend his action picking up his weapon. Okay, take that out of here. And then he's going to be big mad because there's nothing else he can do because he's picking up his weapon. And, John, it is your turn. <sighs> I thought I told you to drop it, and I just swing for it. I'm like, 
This time, not calling my shot, just hoping that I hit them. Okay. Like, You got any pluses on there? Um, I got plus uh, to hit plus five, so I got fourteen. Yep, that'll hit. Uh, six or five, uh, eleven, eleven damage. Ooh. Okay. And you've already action surged, so I believe that's it for you, right? Oh, yes. Until I get hit, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cats, back to you. I'm going to swing at the southernmost one with my mace. Can you guys see the label that I put on them? Uh, number one. Yeah. Mentor Skeletons 1 and 2. Okay, good, good. So, all right, so number one. All right, I just want to make sure, because I don't know what all you can and can't see in Owlbear yet. So Does a 22 close. hit? Absolutely. Oof, just two damage, though. I, it's... I mean, number one is the more hurt of the two, so that was, you know, decent call. What you guys can ask me that, like, going forward, I might not volunteer as much information, but you can absolutely ask those kinds of things. Well, I feel like you can kind of ask around it, like, which one appears more damaged or something. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You poked it. All right, anything else for you, cats? Uh, no, I'll stay where I am. Okay. And Skeleton 2 that you hexed, who is big mad at you, is going to attack with its horns. Yeah, they have a charge attack that I haven't been having them do. So, that's probably uh, what was really that makes sense as a racial. Yeah. But it is going to gore you with its horns. Wow. <laughs> I don't even need to roll for the hex. The poor the poor giant skeleton swings its head at you with its horns and gets its horns stuck in this nearby pillar. Are you guys sure these aren't friendly? And it's axes over here. <laughs> <laughs> Also, two, two of them were disarmed. <laughs> That's really, That's really good. All right. Top of the round. Uh, Yorana, do you want to try to continue to be stealthy? Girl. Yes. Okay. Because when you attack, it does reveal your position, but there's is on the map, there's a statue right there that you could try to hide behind again. Well, this one's stuck in the statue, so it's vulnerable. The one with its head stuck in the in the thing from rolling in that one, where it has to spend the next turn out of it. Yeah, it's it can't. Yeah, it's not like that one. I'll say you don't have to try to stealth on because it's very preoccupied. Yeah, the, I'm not going to worry about uh, stealthing on him. I'm literally <laughs> going to stab him in the head. Uh, is that Minotaur one or two that's stuck in the one right? What, what? Two. 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 It's the hexed one. Yeah, the hexed one who is having a very bad day. That's the one who's got its head stuck, it's in, stuck the, in the oh, pillar. Here, right here. I, didn't, I didn't have did to this. throw one. Do you, yeah. do you see do you the see orange, really? See me doing the orange? Okay, okay, so that's what so that, 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 it's that. that. Eh, that's funny. Then I'm going to throw a dagger at him. Right up its butts. With, um, you, oh, know what? you know what? Damn it! Because, Cause... hold on. Hold on. <laughs> because it's stuck, go ahead and do advantage. 
<laughs> okay. okay. That didn't help. It's a good it thing helped it, was a, it helped me not have a critical failure. <laughs> That's true. Yep. The the dagger just kind of like flies wrong and it lands flat against it <laughs> instead of on the pointy end. You you just long distance spanked this skeleton. Pretty much. <laughs> Who said long distance king talk? Lies, that's what I say. Okay, so this one, so skeleton one, because it's still upset that you got it to disarm and because you're taunting it, is going to go for you yet again. Oh my god. Wow. Minotaur skeletons are kind of the worst, aren't they? <laughs> Look. My fame precedes me. They don't want they don't want to damage the famous and like sought after blade. It's fine. I understand. And many a minotaur would meet on their have fell to my And I say this out loud, bragging. <laughs> Even though it has uh, no way to emote this, you somehow think its skeletal face looks dejected. <laughs> Alright, and John, it's you. It's me. Um, yeah, because I don't want to... I, I just, I just want to finish it off now. Because, you know, what, once you start something, you might as well finish it, you know? So I'm just going to take a swing at it again. All right. Oh. I will say that one is worse off looking than two, and it looks uh, about half undead. How do I get these? Okay. One looks half undead? Yeah. yeah half regular I, dead. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm basically just going at one. Like, I'm 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 not even focusing on two yet. Yeah, you don't uh, have to yet. Yeah, Blade is very single-minded. Oh wait, I rolled the wrong thing. <laughs> I was too presumptuous and rolled a. I rolled it. A, a, a twelve. A twelve. No, 13. Sorry, 13. Because I have a plus 5 to my attack. Yeah, thankfully because they're large, size large, their AC is, is terrible. So yeah, you hit. <laughs> Yay. Now I can do it. Um, yeah, 8. 8 total? Yeah, okay. Eight. It's looking a little bit more dead and a little less undead. You're a hefty boy, aren't you? I say kind of teasingly. I mean, they are. As I hit it. They are. All right. All right, cats. Uh, I'll go ahead and cast Bless on the three of us. I Actually, let me double check. Bane doesn't require concentration, does it? Nope, it does. Disregard that. I'm going to just hit it with my mace. Number one again. All right. Oh. Oh, cats. I swing straight through it and hit myself in the toe. If that's how you want to play it, yeah, roll damage. <laughs> oh my God. Cats and boots, huh? You whack yourself for a, a three plus whatever your your modifier. Yeah, that makes it work. My toes, my toes. I finally have five toes. 
And how thus long? concludes my turn. How long does the hex last? Is it just concentration until you let it go? This is up to a minute. So, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, Skeleton 2 spends its turn freeing itself and wondering who, who slapped it on the skeletal behind. Okay, Yorana, you are up. Sweet deal. He's still stuck in a thing? Not anymore. Does, is he aware of me? Uh, since it's your turn, uh, just do stealth again because it's like in the middle of active combat. So I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Do it. Oh, it can't see me. Yeah, no, yeah, you're you're not not there. There. see me. You are not there. Yeet. Man, you know what? Because you you got the twenty on on the um. Since you got a nat twenty for your stealth, I'm gonna let you try that one more time. And that's plus five, so that's sixteen. So I hit. Okay, who are you going for? The the hexed one. one. The hexed one. The hexed one. Okay. Definitely hits. Two plus three, so ten damage because it's plus and, and Ooh. that one's starting to look about half dead, half undead. Also, I do not know how many knives I've thrown. Uh, don't worry about it. Can't have been more than like I don't know. Five or six. We haven't had that many rounds of combat. I only have 12. Okay. All right, well, let's say you've used half of them. Sounds fair. Because you only action surged like once, so... So I think it's about right. Okay. All right, anything else for you? No. Okay. Skeleton one. Still completely unaware and oblivious to the fact that a dagger flew past its face. Is going to instead of continuing to try to hit John and getting pissed off about it, it's gonna to try to hit cats instead. Coward. If you're curious, they only speak infernal and they're incapable of responding, but they understand it. So you're everything you're saying, it has no idea. Oh, I only know half. Oh, 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 cats. <laughs> Burn. Believe it or not, my AC is below twenty. <laughs> I will never have an AC. I could. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, I know how bad these things are when they actually hit. Okay, okay, so just to let you know, the, the, the doom you've been avoiding this entire time, uh, the Great Axe is plus six to hit. It has five feet re foot reach, which I haven't really been doing because it has been necessary. Um, it does 2d12 plus four slashing. Oof. Um. Uh, and cats, since that's a crit, um, the way crits work typically in 5th edition is my understanding is, and that's how we did in the previous game, is it's um, it's basically you get the weapon's max attack damage and then you roll again. So the max damage out of the gate is going to be 28. I only have 10 HP left after I have hit myself in the foot. All right. You see... Finally, after all of this time and embarrassment, poor cats basically gets cut in half. And something I'm going to implement once you guys have the ability to revive and stabilize and things like that is I'll give you guys a round to do it before the body gets uh, swallowed up, as it were. 
But yeah, cats. You see him rather horrifically get cut in half. And then as his body lands on the floor, it just... Uh, the dungeon itself, the floor, seems to swallow him whole. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> so, cats, uh, while you are respawning, uh, you can decide if you want to be the same character again, or if you want to make a, a different one. And because you have unlocked more, remember, you have unlocked more racing class options. So, we're going to continue the combat and see where that goes. But in the meantime, cats are at the starting area and, and deciding what to do. Sweet. And I'll respawn as level 2 regardless, right? Correct. Regardless of what race and class combination, you maintain your level. Yes. And you get your starting gear back. Um, but yeah. So Skeleton 2, totally stoked at having seen that. Oh, and because Katz is dead, he's no longer hexed. That's just rude. He's going to start taking advantage of that. Well, actually, does he have five foot reach even without the great... Uh... Yeah, the gore attack does have a five foot reach. So, because it doesn't have its axe... And it can't actually get to it because it can't get through that narrow of a space because John is standing there. It's going to attempt to gore John with its horns. Gore John. Yes. It sounds like a beast, gore John. It would live on Iris or something. Mm. It gets a 21. Oh, damn it. That hits. That hits. Okay, the yeah. gore attack. It's not quite so bad. It does 2d8 plus 4, and it wasn't a crit. Total of 15 damage. 15? Ah, uh, 2d8 plus uh, 4 piercing damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Um, yep. Are you also dead? Nope, not yet. Okay. Yorana, you are up. Catch you're still, still streaming. streaming this game, huh? But go ahead, Steve. Okay, so I'm gonna gonna whip a another dagger at skeleton too okay seven plus five twelve I feel like these have a 13, 13 hit. hit yeah, yeah. there is 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12 yeah yeah Steve if you need a second it's it's cool we can we'll get it's it's cool take care of what you need to God, oh my god. That that one hit. Oh. Ooh, that really... might have turned the tide. It, yeah, it, it was it, just it, my kid. She wants to go outside, but she's 10 years old and can't go outside by herself. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. Sounds fair. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't trust them. They might, might kill someone or something. 10 years old are all feral, I believe. Mm -hmm. Especially American kids, if, if I know my uh, biology right. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the road the road 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 road. Road. That's five plus five. That's ten damage on and one or two. Two? Okay. That one's looking um, a little bit more dead than Minotaur one. How I put so much into Minotaur One. <laughs> They're thick boys. They have uh, sixty-seven HP. How much was put into Minotaur Two? <laughs> All right, so um, I put at least 
So Minotaur 1, I'll just tell you, is at 21 HP. Minotaur 2 is at 17. Oh my god. Here I thought I was doing a whale of a good time. You, you got them down pretty far. I mean, you know, considering that you guys didn't really discuss tactics or anything, you just kind of, you know, waited in. You're doing pretty good. They're CR2. I honestly expected you guys to do far worse. Well, I, I had one of my zombie mates disappear and the other one not follow me, <laughs> I guess, is what's happening in the uh, lore. Well, you might be meeting him soon. We will see. Skeleton one who still has its axe is going to take a swing at you, John, because he doesn't see Steve. He doesn't know Steve is here. Come at me, BB. Does a 23 hit? God damn it! I'm dead. 23 hits, I assume. Oh, a 23 hits. No matter what he gets, his bonus is going to kill me. All right, so four, and then it's 2d12. Yeah, I'm dead. I have five hit points left. Well, let's see how dead. Oh boy! <laughs> so, so Steve, much like uh, much like cats before him, uh, you see John. Instead of getting cut across the middle like cats, he gets cut from head to toe. <laughs> oh! Before getting devoured by the dungeon, he just wants to split me open. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's dead, so no turn for him. No turn for cats. Cats is dead. Minotaur Skeleton 2 doesn't know you're there, so but it's been getting hit by something, so it's just holding its action for the moment. And it's back to you, Steve. <sighs> Sorry, children again. Mm -hmm. so I am going to attempt to stealth my ass out of here. All right. Uh, go for it. Yes. Plus three. Okay. I go back to the spawn point. All right. I, I, sh I should make you use an action to disengage, but that's fine. That can be part of that. Uh, and you go back. All right. And when you return to the spawn point... Uh, Katz and John, you have, you see the familiar glow of the magical revival circle. Have either of you decided to change characters or are you going to just keep doing what you're doing? Um, I, I'm just going to continue with the character I have. Okay. I'm rolling a wizard. Oh, cool. So this is a, we'll take a, we'll use this opportunity to take a quick, Bio break. Uh, anyone who needs a snack, use the restroom, whatever. Uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Give cats a chance to make that character. Awesome. A quick question. Are we streaming this? Mm -mm. Okay. No, um, I'm using a Discord bot called Craig just to record the session audio, and then I am going to upload that to YouTube, and that's really it. Oh, okay. I I have like two monitors and a laptop going. I don't think it could handle streaming it. Um, that's totally fine. That was um, like a, where I was doing this before that server. That was a, kind of a little bit of a point of contention. Like uh, the guy who was running the server before he turned out to be a transphobic traitorous cock uh, was trying to like pressure us to stream before, you know, we were like, I can't do it. Because I'm running the game. Mm -hmm. I've got to keep my mind on so many other things. And no one else has like the technical like yeah, capacity yeah. at home. No one else has a good enough computer. And he just like kept asking. I was like, just, you can do it. Do you want to watch us play? And you can do it. And he didn't want to. So Yeah, well, that's shitty. Like, don't force have people the, to do something they don't want to do. Yeah. I have the technical capacity. If you do want to go that route at any point, I just uh, am not active on Twitch or anything. Yeah, but I could also just um, record it on OBS and like send you the file if you want to um, 
edit the audio to, to the to the Oh, it's recording yeah. right now. It's nice. It spits it out as an audacity project with everyone's tracks separated, like in the event. Yeah. Um, I don't expect anyone to start going off on like, I don't know, some sort of racist tirade or something, but I do have the capacity to edit out just that person if needed. Um but I, I mean I might Steve, come on now. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose if everyone is cool with it and hypothetically you wanted to stream it or anyone else, that's that's you know, we can talk about it. I don't personally have a problem with it if going forward you want to do that. Um but yeah. I'm gonna take advantage of a short break. I'm gonna grab a snack, yeah. I'll be right back. Do it, do it. Uh, I, I wasn't um meaning that I would stream I would just record it on OBS. Oh, I was just saying if you wanted to. Yeah. It's just fun hanging out with you guys, you know, playing playing the game. Yeah, man, I've been enjoying this. So last campaign, I was a cleric of the light, and that was the first time I ever played D and D. So I'm pretty darn new over here. Well, that's cool. I I I generally I'm either and I'm always like a tiefling or a drow or something. I am a small person in real life, so I thought a, a small character would, would work, so I've been playing gnomes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I, I play strongly to type. I'm a tall, strong woman. That's what my characters are. Except for, actually, my newest character that I'm playing is tall, kind of like v very very like just shock um tiefling that has that has been like held captive her whole life and has not seen anyone except a person and is just wowed by everything and slightly like very like drawn into herself because of it because like what the fuck's happening Yeah. So I'm rolling a halfling wizard whose flaw is scared of everything, and I'm I'm basically just gonna oh, make yeah. him a scaredy cat. Oh yes, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> I, I I love D I love D and D games where there's just something about a character that makes just like being scared of everything. Like that can go so many ways. And can either be the best like RP of your life or just ruin a whole game for everyone. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be annoying, but uh I'll still try to be a team player. I I think go where the character takes you. <laughs> I I'm the I'm the worst person right now because I will definitely definitely feed into the roleplay aspect of this and you fail. Oh, I forgot. Halflings had lucky. I could have re-rolled that one where I hurt myself. Not that it would have mattered, but eh, see, I'm learning. Yeah. Uh, you were how many? Yeah, you, you kind of you got hit by a critical hit with a great axe. No, yeah, yeah it yeah, wouldn't it have would... mattered, but still, darn it. Yeah. If you can use a feat, use a feat. Um, did you have how many? Do you have here? I'm sorry, you're cutting out. Do I have one? Uh, how many class? How many uh, levels do you have in fighter? I assume you're asking Steve. Steve, yes, sorry. I mean, we're only level two, so I assume one. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did want to make a picture on the game, but I don't think he action surge. All right, I'm back. Welcome. Let's, let's not tell the DM. <laughs> no, totally speak up about stuff like that. It's a super chill group. Just, you know, like we're yeah. we're all kind of playing it fast and loose. Yeah. What? what? Um, Steve um, probably didn't have action surge yet because he just has one in fighter. Uh, I mean, stuff happens. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's messy, you know. If it, if he if he didn't have it, 
then you know it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, I, I, I did. I just, I just wanted the game to roll on. I didn't want to be like a player. Yeah, I'm not going to like if it was something that was like on purpose or like, oh, yeah, I totally have this thing. Like it was like trying to be deceitful on purpose, then then I might be mad about that. But if it's like an honest mistake, it's an honest mistake. Well, technically, you told him he had it. <laughs> I think I asked, but, you know, yeah. uh, I'm not too worried about it. I have five knives. <laughs> I Definitely. have a mace. I have an axe. And a javelin, I believe. I have a javelin as well. Who uses javelins? Who? Me, actually. Oh. I, don't think they get, I don't think they get the sneak attack. Because uh, I never asked Jelly about that. I wanted to use uh, throwing axes instead. But they, I don't think, technically are supposed to get sneak attack. I think you, right. I think it's, that's why we were like daggers, because daggers are finesse, and you have to have finesse for sneak attack or something like that, or it has yeah, to be yeah. dex based. Or... Yeah, that's why daggers have finesse. Yeah, finesse weapons are, are sneak attack, like long range sneak, sneak attack weapons. At least. All right, well, since uh, Katz is making his wizard, I can actually look this up. It's just one of those things where it feels stupid, because if I can throw a dagger at someone, why can't I throw a throwing axe at them if they're just as unaware? Okay, so first, uh, yep, you are correct. First level, you get your fighting style and you get second wind, but you don't get action surge unless you take another level in fighter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Action surge yeah. is level two. It's oh, so I shouldn't have gotten that. It's it's not yeah. a big deal. It was once. It was one action surge. You guys died anyway, and it's fine. Yeah. Oh wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Yep. Right. I, I I think it's because I took an action surge over both fighters, and it was right. Just... Yeah, I thought it was a level one thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Can we all pretend that I didn't roll a wizard just so I get to say prestidigitation? Yes, totally. I'm down for that. So are you are you not rolling a wizard? No, I did. I I posted it in the uh, game oh. notes. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. I'll look up rogue real quick about that sneak attack stuff. You know, you get expertise, sneak a can uh, sneak attack and thieves can't. Uh my brain wants to say sneak a can't because they collided in my speech center. Uh let's see. Let's see. Hit points, efficiency. Da -da. Sneak a can't is where you read Steve's can't without anyone seeing you. Yep. Sneak attack, beginning at first level, so you have it. You know how to strike subtly and exploit a foe's distraction. Once per turn, you can add an extra d6 damage to one creature you hit. With an attack, you have advantage on the attack roll. And that was something else we weren't doing. We weren't doing advantage from you striking from from uh, from stealth. So that's another thing that we need to adjust, we needed to fix. So I'll call it even. I wasn't giving you advantage from stealth, and you did an action surge. So, you know, we both, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> did I walk? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> All from your end. <laughs> yep. The attack must be a finesse or ranged weapon. Yeah. Oh, good. Fast need to... character decided I might want dragon chess. See, this is weird. Okay, you can... If you have advantage on the attack, you don't need advantage on the attack if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. The enemy is an incapacity. You don't have disadvantage on attack roll. Okay. So if you're sneaking and you attack, the implication is that, that that gives you advantage. And that's how you're able to sneak attack while you're sneaking. That just kind of follows in my mind. Um... But since they were both skeletons were engaged in combat with John and with Katz, that would have also counted as long as they didn't see you. 
Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and if you have like un if you have a uncanny hide or something, you, you can you can hide and get sneak attack your next turn. Um, if they are engaged with someone else or didn't see you hide, they'd have like visual on you if you like run around the corner or something. Okay, welcome, Kip. Okay, so, John, you are responding in the magical circle, and you look over, and you do not see Gideon. You see someone else. And uh, Yorana, as you head into the starting room, you see John in the circle with someone you have not seen before. Um. So... So, cats, I'm going to let you decide. Um, you do keep your level, so you do have some, like, you, you can treat it as, like, this is a still you in a new body, or you can treat it like it's a reincarnation, like you kind of remember your previous life, but you're not the same person. Up to you. Ooh, interesting. Or some somewhere in between. Either way, I am shrieking, and I run to the corner and hide from both of you. Um, Blade will turn to, uh, to them and is like, Well met, Fair Traveler. D don't fret. I am not 100% sure what's going on here, but for one thing I know, I am definitely, maybe, not a zombie. So... You, you might be fine. That is not comforting in any way. I am a wagon full of threats. Threats. Well, for one, you look more like a tiny little humanoid thing, not a wagon. I don't see any wood or wheels, but um, I don't mean you no harm. And and uh, where's Blade Gunther? Will... Who's the new guy? Boop. Who's I'm... Gunther? I I just remember the the skeletons, and I was in my study. You remember skeletons in, and then in your, in your. I study? think I was dreaming. Well, there's skeletons out there. Yeah. When is it for you? Sorry, who were, were you asking me? Or no, I'm 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 asking the new person. I, I'm asking when is it for them. I what what do you mean? It's 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 evening and it's winter. I, I mean, what year? What 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 revolution around your celestial star? Yeah, I, I don't know how time works. Hmm. I see. Well, that's as far as I can go. <laughs> oh, from the completely windowless room, you can tell. I'm just kidding. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I was hoping for a yes and. <laughs> like, I'm a yes, I, I have no idea how to. Oh, I, I, I kind of remember you. It's it's really hazy, but I, I, I know you guys aren't a threat. I, Oh, God, are the skeletons just past that door? I, yes. I, I, I don't think so. Do you want to go take a look? No, I, I escaped them. I didn't die. Okay, there's no need to brag. You might be a key, but there's no need to brag. I'm coming. Am I aware that they just moved back to their positions? No, because you, I, you you get left, left the area. So they, yeah, you're not in that room. I was just getting it ready under the assumption that you were going to go back. 
I mean, unless you guys want to sp- like until like for the next hour and a half, just role play? <laughs> Question mark. How long is it? I do play? have dragon chess. Hmm. Um. I'm not, look, we we were able to get them down to almost dead. I think if we concentrate on one at a time, we might might be able to do it. And if you, Miss Red, don't disappear on us, we might be able to get the fact. Well, I thought I'd just stealth in and throw a dagger at it. Well, think about telling someone. You know, there's a thing in combat, which I would know because I am a grit um, knight. Uh, like, you know, I would know these things. It's called strategy. And I'm being so condescending. Like, it fucking oozing out of everybody. Not a problem at all. As a knight, will you, will you please lead the way? You seem to, to know your way around these things. Uh, why would I lead the way when I have... Um, you know, cattle to do it for me. I mean, a stealthy person like the fair maiden over here. Do you, do you think I could borrow your armor? I might be able to go. Absolutely not. No one touches, no one wears my armor. But... Well, you seem to have the nicest armor, so I, I just assumed it would be the most protective. Yes, it is for me. I don't see how that is not like some people call me um you know slow to to catch on, but this is just <laughs> it's ridiculous. My armor protected me being more condescending. Like I'm talking to a four year old about like quantum physics. Yes, your armor, your armor mine, protect you. you ah, can get me. Yes. <laughs> I rolled a stealth check. <laughs> I, so I totally wandered <laughs> off while he was talking and rolled a stealth check, and I got a twenty. Nice. Nat like twenty. Role play in my D D. Absolutely not. Meanwhile, right, you still you, over here arguing. Yep. While they're bickering, you stealthily stealth away, and you see the skeletons are. They went back to where they were standing before, but they do not look like they are any more undead. They still look like they're pretty dead dead. In other words, they have not healed. And uh, John, I will, since you respond, and of course, Cats, Mm -hmm. because you respond, uh, it's as if you had a long rest and you're fully restored when you die. Mm -hmm. However, uh, important thing to note is if you do not die and you go back to the starting area as a party in long rest, um, then any enemies that were left on the field, like the big skeletons, would also benefit and they would be healed up. But since you didn't do that, they're still just as hurt as how you left them. Oh, nice. So, are we going to go after your friend? Or after that person? I, I, I... Never got her name. I, I barely got the other. Hi, little one. I, I'm Blade. And you are? You, you, can you, Kip, you don't need to know my last name. Sorry, but yes, I, you can call me Kip. You don't need to know my last name. Kipito? Kip. Kip. K. Kip. Nice to meet you. So, would you like to walk down this hall? It's it, it's just a harmless walk down the hallway. Apparently, if we walk long enough, we'll get out. But I don't know that that redheaded one just keeps lying to me, and I just I just don't know what's happening. I just don't trust her. Wow. Well, sure, you you seem like a worthy escort. You can lead the way. But I will protect you. Don't worry. I just, I just, I just, I just continue walking, and I stop just before I get down, and I turn to Kib. Kib, 
right here. It's fine. Can I pick up a stone? Uh, I think at this point it might be prudent to maybe do an initiative order. Okay. I, we were well, trying tell me, to tell me what you had in mind first and then I'll let everyone, I'll let everyone else chime in because I don't, you know, we'll see what we'll see. Go ahead. What are you planning? What I was going to do is get a rock and chuck it, try to chuck it as far as I can to the other side of the room. To get the uh, Minotaur's attention. Sure. Roll, uh, I guess, athletics. Uh, ooh, athletics, you say? Mm hmm. Um, tur uh, 23. Okay, you managed manage to roll the small stone. All Sorry. the way, uh, let me get this the tool I need here. No. Uh, no, no, no. I want you to get, no, get rid of it. I'm trying to go up and to the left of the Minotaurs. So you're not, so well, from where you are, from where you're yeah. standing, you could probably throw it like either you'd have to throw it to their right, kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to their right. But I said so, it because it would have been there. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to say it lands around here. You see where I'm pointing? Yeah. All right. It lands around there. And at this point, I think it's prudent for us to do initiatives. Yeah, I got a 16. 16? You still have a 16. Did you no, re-roll? I, 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 no, I didn't. Oh, I did re-roll. But I uh, was able to edit hey. my initiative, and I added a 16. Oh, sweet. All right, so, Katz, you got a 20. Is that a 20-plus anything? Uh, that's just me. Uh, actually, yeah, 22. All right, 22. All right. I so got a 19. 19 total? Yeah, 19 total. All right. And let's have the Skilla Boys roll again. I think that's 16 and 6. I'm pretty sure. All right. Okay, you throw it, and they look over there, and Cats, it's your turn. I'll move just to the edge to try to peek around and cast a Mage Arbor on myself. All right. Which would effectively make my AC 15. Okay. Uh, let me see and... if I have a thing to put on you for that. Oh, you said you blessed yourself, basically? It just increases your AC by dex plus something. There, you have the blessed ring, so that we know. <laughs> okay. Is that the same as blessed? No, this increases my AC. It doesn't give me any bonus to hit. Okay. Because they, they don't have rings for, for all, all conditions. conditions. So. Uh, yeah, I'll just remember my AC is 15 mil. Okay, anything else? That ends my turn. Or I guess, can I hide as a bonus action? Uh, I mean, technically you never, I mean, you didn't really go into their line of sight, so... Mm, I don't know, can you hide as a bonus action? That's a great question, let's find out. I think it's a rogue ability. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then I will just stand here and remain out of the direct line of sight, at least. 
Uh, it requires an action unless you have cunning action, which they were just talking about. So yeah, unfortunately, no. You can, however, use what's left of your movement to back up if you want. Yeah, I guess that fits the character. Coward. All right. John, it's you. So, 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 I need to, do we sit, the skeletons didn't go for it, or? They're looking. It's, it's not, they haven't had a turn with which to move yet, but they're okay. looking. Okay. Turn t- I turn to... I for, I just look at the new member and I'm like, uh, e- j- just stay here and I'll protect you. And I'm going to try and stealth. <laughs> this is not going to work. It'll be too high of a DC because they're going to see me no matter what. I'm going to try to get to the closest pillar and just like flap back it and hopefully not be seen. Well, they're only they're 20 feet away. I'm sure you could reach them if you wanted. Yeah, but I also don't want them to see me come. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Yeah, that's not going to happen. He roll stealth. Uh, roll stealth. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to get, like, a 50 or something. Ooh. Uh, yeah. and my delt is... 21. Do you... And do you have heavy armor? Uh, no, I just have chain mail. Okay, because I think heavy armor is what imposes a penalty on that. So, um... Yes, you can. I mean, those pillars are not... The pillars in front of them are not very wide, but there are some statues like where Yorana is hiding where you could probably sneak over to. Um, no, no, no. I'm not very... I'm not, I'm, I'm not the smartest tool in the box. I'm not the sharpest sword, even though I'm, I'm trying to, like, get there and get close. I'm, like, I think I can. I, I'm, I'm the trend that could. The mm. little blade that could. I'm just trying to get to the closest one here. I'm just... I will say chainmail is considered heavy armor. Is it? Yeah. Oh, then then there's a yeah. I I should be. Yeah, it was an issue on my cleric. I believe oh. it imposes disadvantage. I forget exactly, but yeah, well, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 I'm wearing chainmail. Uh, hold the fuck. All right, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. I just remember I couldn't sneak for anything on my cleric, and it was because of my chainmail. See, is it in the in the DMG that talks about what chainmail is like? If chainmail uh, is fucking chainmail is heavy armor at AC sixteen, disadvantage on stealth, strength thirteen required to even wear it. So you need a thirteen strength to wear it. Should be a starting item, fighters, uh, paladins, and some clerics. Okay, yeah. So from the fighter level, that explains why Steve has it. But Steve, you should, do you? Do we want to hand wave that you had a different armor on where you could sneak? Like from the, maybe the rogue starting kit? Hmm. Uh, can, can it's got to be like a studded armor or heavy leather or something, right? Uh, Let's see. See, which, which one did you... I um, want something that will allow me to sneak but that still provides decent armor class. Well, let's let's, let's look. look. Something like maybe a chain shirt or studded leather. Yeah. I, I would say go with proficiencies in the first class you picked. Well, you see, the thing is, the fighter wouldn't really... Hmm. 
believe it or not, searching this PDF is actually not as fast as you would think. Okay. <laughs> uh... Like I say, a medium. Okay, so this... Rogues get light. Uh, uh, let's see. Rapier, short sword, short bow, quiver, burglars pack, dungeons pack, leather armor, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think we'd said you could do like gold equivalency instead if you don't want to use the starting kit. So let's see. Yeah, I don't uh, anticipate gold being super useful in the dungeon. We'll see. Maybe there's a vending machine, but. Well, yeah, like, what are some of the other armors that I could... I'm looking, I'm trying to, I'm, if you guys want to look and if you want to show me what you find, I'm happy to do that too, but I'm looking also. On it. It looks like your best option would be a breastplate, but that's 400 gold. Let's see. Let's see. Breastplate is meeting. There's uh, chain shirt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking was chain shirt. 13 plus dex mod, but my dex actually sucks of this character. Then I'd only have a 14 for AC. Okay, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Fighters get medium armor. Light armor is plus two decks. Max AC is 17. Da -da -da. So you can stealth with medium armor. A half plate looks like it, even though it's medium armor, it does impose a stealth penalty. Uh, Chain shirt, scale mail, breastplate. And I don't see why you couldn't have a shield in your offhand if you're throwing with the other hand. Yeah, we agreed last week that yeah. Yeah. that works. Right, so those seem like your best options. Um, I don't think... Is like scale mail all that expensive? I don't think so. Scale mail has disadvantage on stealth. Word, really? I'm trying to find the freaking equipment tables and not just Google things. It's annoying me. Chain shirt with the shield seems about as heavily armored as uh, like a dagger thrower would be justifiable, I feel like. Okay, chain shirt. I mean, that might be a what, like 16? 16? Uh, yeah, with the shield's plus two, right? Yeah, yeah, at least, at least shield, shield, shield is plus two. So, yeah, with my one Dax and a chain shirt, that's 14, and plus two for a shield, that's 16. Right. So that works. Or I trust that you're providing me with the correct information as I'm having a challenging time locating it in this PDF. All right, so we'll go with that. All right, so... All right, so now that that's resolved, uh, it was John's turn. My turn. Um, so I did succeed at getting up here, did I? Yeah, you can, you can get up there. Um, you can be, like, in the same space as the pillar because it's, like, snapped to grid, or you can be behind either one. Yeah, I just... Whatever would be, um, like, would get, get me out of the view best. Well, let's see, you did have heavy armor, so you did, did you roll with disadvantage? Yeah, and I got a 90. I got a 20 something. So I, I passed with my first one, and then I got like 20. Okay. 20 with my second, so. All right. All right. So you are there. Yeah, so I'm basically just hiding and holding my action until they walk away. Then I'm going to strike the last one 
that cat walks out of my range and just okay. like lunge at them and hit them in the butts. All right. So skeleton one walks over to investigate where you threw the thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just looking around a little, and it's uh, going to use its action to search. It doesn't find anything. And it's using the remainder of its movement to just kind of come back. Okay. Um, yeah. I relinquish my, um, my ready to action, I guess. And you can, I mean, you can still hold it for if one walks near you. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. If, if one, if one of them pushes off the dice, dice towards us, I will um, strike. Yeah. Precisely, that works. All right, Steve, you're up. How is that twenty feet? Well, it's a five. Each square is five feet. I know. So this is twenty-five. Uh, I yeah. So where you are, if you started where you were, so five. It's so counting screen. the square they're in as well. What What are you trying to do, buddy? See if I. I'm in range to hit skeleton two with a dagger. I would say that you are. How there's, far? How far can you throw? There's 20 feet of empty space, and I believe you said you could do 30. Yeah, I believe my daggers are 30 foot increment. Are they you, had, you had what? Four or five left? I had five. Okay. All right, go for it. So 10 plus 5, 15, I think that hits. That does. And it was unaware of me. That's correct. So you were, you were, your stealth plus uh, it was distracted. So that's the question is when you're stealth, do you not get advantage or no? When you're sneaking. I think it sounded like I'm supposed to. I believe. I believe. So, double checking. 12 damage, by the way. Okay. I just want to see if you get a chance to get a crit. Unfortunately, no. Now I have four daggers. Okay, let's see. I'm getting lots of stuff saying that you can do it like I'm 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 trying to find out if you're supposed to get advantage on it or not. So meh, that's what we said, so whatever. You said twelve damage to number two? Yep. It is looking very close to dead instead of undead. Anything else for you this turn? Nope. Okay. All right. And I've been apparently doing it wrong. You're supposed to use an action to hide, and you get a bonus action to hide at the higher rogue level. So we'll have to 
suss that out later. So skeleton two, you just since you just threw it, it's gonna no go oh, this, way. this way. I ran ahead hit. of the group and hid. Yeah. Before the combat. So Oh I know. I know. Well, I mean like at the start of next turn, if you want to do another sneak, you have to hide because it's like combat started basically. So it's heading this way. Alright, so John, go ahead and if you want to unleash your held action. Do uh yeah. Uh roll hit. Um definitely hits. Yeah, that that is plus what though. Oh, five, plus five, yeah, so 24 to hits. Absolutely. Yeah. My brain won't let me move on unless I... Um, nine damage. Okay. Describe your kill. Um, <laughs> a skeleton two is just passing me. I take a wild swing and just jam it right in the lower his lower back and as he walks I kind of pull back and takes his coccyx bone as I pull back and just like dislodge that and he falls to sunder. Not my coccyx. Yep, he crumbles into the ground. Yeah. Look, it's not my fault this skeleton play, okay? Oh no not that. No what well, this. There we go. That one is dirt. Okay. And that was on its turn. I forgot where it was in the initiative order. I think we're just... Uh, who has not gone yet? Skeleton 1 has not gone? So, yeah. Um, so think, fuck. Why did I remove it from initiative without looking? Uh, okay, so Yorana just went. And then went back to the... Your Honor, you just did the sneak, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that should have gone to the top of the... So after you did the sneak, that should have gone to the top of the order. God damn it, whose turn is it supposed to be? Well, after me is Cats. True. Okay, well, let's just well, let's just roll with it. All right, Cats, it's your turn. Uh, I stop admiring my certificate of pedigree and I'll peek around the corner. <laughs> okay. You see one skeleton is now a pile of very large bones. And the other one is up on the dais still. And seems to be looking around because of the commotion. So I'm going to have you, because you poked your head out, have you do a little stealth. Oh, no need. I shriek when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What and... else are you going to do? And then I'll... I'll give that to you as a free that. action. <laughs> and then I'll cast Firebolt. Nice. Go for it. It's just a straight up 1d10. Oh, Firebolt doesn't even... It's not even like range touch, it's just go. Oh, no, yeah, I, I gotta roll for it. Let's see. Uh, it's plus four to hit, so 16. That hits. For a whopping two damage. Ooh. It doesn't look like it takes additional damage from fire, but you you singe it a little bit. You piss it off. I shriek again, and that ends my turn. <laughs> okay. I can just imagine, imagine your character going, eek! Alright, so John, a screaming wizard shot some fire at the other skeleton and drew its attention directly at you, and it is your turn. <laughs> we meet again, and I just run at um uh Minotaur one, and I am gonna just try to like overhand, just come down. I'm gonna try to leap off, like run up the stairs and leap, and try to come down at least in its clavicle or its head, whichever I am able to reach at. Okay, go ahead and uh, move yourself on the map and roll. Yeah. <sighs> 
I think yeah, my yet. I think my dice are weighted. <laughs> Uh, so 24 again. Um, six, five, 11. 11? Yeah. Okay, it's not quite dead. Uh, I will action surge then. And mm-hmm. as my, as I bring my hand down, I come, I pull it out and come back up. And try to uppercut with the axe. Try to okay. get in to draw. All right. Ugh. Oh, we got a need. Whiffer, unfortunately. <sighs> Un- unfortunately for you, because now it's the skeleton's turn. And even though, again, it has no face meat with which to emote, it looks as you as, as if it remembers you. And it doesn't Aww. like you. <laughs> Who doesn't like like sword of the sword coast? Huh? Everyone likes sword. Does a twenty four hit? Oh yeah, it hits me. Okay. It hits me so good. All right. Woo. For a mighty 26 to the dome. I'm dead. <laughs> they twaps me good. Yep. And it whacked him. And let's see. It doesn't know where the scream came from. So, and it doesn't see either of you. Well, actually, no, cats. It does see you because you're not hiding. So it's going to lumber over here. Oh, it's kind of relying on being under three feet tall and behind him. And it's going to, you know. You know what? Let's do something fun. It's going to come over here. And now it's the end of its turn. Yorana, it is your turn. It doesn't see me. Uh, if you want to, uh, let's see. That's, like, the stealth mechanics are something I'm very fuzzy on. Me me too, I've never actually played a rogue in 5e. Like, I know hiding is an action, and my understanding is that if you want to hide in combat, you have to do an action, and that's the whole point of the rogues getting cunning action later, so they can hide as a bonus action. So I'm going to say if you want to, you know, based on following that logic, if you wanted to attempt to hide again, you would have to use an action. Didn't I last turn? Uh, last turn, I thought you snook attacked. Did I? I believe so. I don't think you did action. In that case, the only action I can do is hide. Or you can, you know, it's pretty rough off looking. It's up to you. Hmm. Let me check my sheet quick. It's, uh, I'll just tell you, it's got eight HP left. I'm going to throw a javelin. Go for for it. One D six plus three piercing. Okay. You might be able to pull it off. If you crit, if you hit and you roll well. Oh. Oh, Steve, no. Did I break my javelin or hurt myself? Uh, the javelin slides into the minotaur amongst its bones and does no damage, but is not retrievable at this time. (laughs) 
So basically you hit the skeleton, but it did no damage and it just kind of has your javelin now. Well, shit. You still have a move action. It is aware of me. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna kind of work your way back that way. All right. All right. I'm gonna nope the fuck out. Okay. All right, cats. Your turn. Uh. No, oh, 120 feet. Look at that. Do you have magic missile? I simultaneously, I'm running away, and then I turn around and I'll cast a firebolt. Oof, but 11. Oh. Oh, cats. It whiffs just barely. And so ends my turn. Okay. All right. John, you can uh, consider if you want to just respawn the same character or do a new one. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to do, go do a new one. All right. So while he is res he's responding, all right. So it is the Minotaur skeleton's turn. So cats, it's going to rush at you. And then it's going to attempt to hit you with a gore attack. And if it does, then it also triggers a charge attack. So let's see. Seventeen. It hits. That Damn. hits. Okay. All right. Damn. So let's let's roll the. <laughs> it is so because it's a charge attack. It's going to do extra two d eight. So that's a grand total of four d eight plus four. So if you roll all ones. Let's see. Total of 14. Guess how many hit points I have. How many? 14. Oh. And I'm down. Cats, Cats is sent flying back to the starting area. Um, yeah, before you continue, uh, what mm -hmm. domains can clerics take? I mean... For the sake of simplicity, subclasses are if you have the if you guys can roll the class, you can roll whatever subclass because I'm not going to jump through all those hoops. Oh, really? I might switch Gunther over to Peace. OK. I'm sticking with, with Kip for now, but short answer is right now. OK, so for the purposes of learning and getting better at it, we're starting with fundamentals. So everything. Let me clarify. If it's in the player's handbook, then yes. If it's something from like an expansion, definitely not homebrew. Um, but once you guys unlock all the races and classes in the player's handbook, then it opens up and you can start unlocking things from expansions. Yeah. And once expansions, you get access to that, you get those subclasses to just automatically. Uh, okay. I, I was just asking because like, I am doing the fast character role for every uh, character I make. So I was just sure. wondering. Like sure, I I don't want to I don't want to be rolling a fast character of a 
saying I'm not allowed. Uh, that's sure, sure, absolutely. I appreciate you checking. Okay. Uh, okay, your okay. your Rana, there is a really, really big Minotaur skeleton right beside you. What kind of an action is it to switch to my pick? Um, you know, I I'll just say it's a bonus action. I suppose I don't know. That is the truth. Or hell, I could just stab it with a deck. <clears throat> no, the last thing I threw was my javelin. I would uh, as, as a tedious time. So I will I remind you that it's a skeleton. A skeleton. And skeletons have certain types of damage that they are immune to and vulnerable to and things like that. Yeah, but I don't have a hammer. Mm, that sucks. What you can do? I'm a picket in the face. Are you going to shout rock and stone? I am. And then I'm going to fail. So that should be plus five. So how much? much? That's 11. Yeah, uh, very close, very close, but no. All right. Are you going to. Well, you use back. I die. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't use a, a disengage because you took an action. Uh, it, it only rolled a nine to hit you. That's a whiff, right? Yep. All right, so it's your turn again. It's just you and the, and the last one. He's barely hanging on. For Carl. I see. And I whiffed it. Oh. This is, this is getting to be a little, little harrowing. 11 hit? No. Yeah. <laughs> hey! For Carl. 19 definitely hits. That'd be 1d8 plus strength, I believe. Ooh, and I got the 8. Describe your kill. Oh, I pickaxe him right in the head, yelling, For Carl! And when you pickaxe it in the forehead, the a purple haze of what you assume is the animating necromantic energy escapes and it collapses into a pile of bones and then shortly thereafter dust. So, uh, so Cats and John, you respawn in the starting area. Uh, what are you going to do, Steve? I just, since I'm already at, back at the starting area, because I fought the skeleton there, I'm just going to wait for new companions, because I'm not going to be able to take these things myself. Well, you just killed it. You just killed the, the last big scary skeleton. So are you gonna, you're going to just wait? Yep. I sent you my new character. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, yeah. Drop those in game notes just so that we don't lose them, but thank you. Oh, sh yes, sorry. Let's see, so half elf fighter this time? Okay. Yeah. Somewhere down the line, one of um, 
Blade's lineage uh, better than now. Hmm. I like it. My name is Dagger, but you use a Warhammer. <laughs> well, my name is Dagger because my um, the person I look up to most was my um, great great grandmother, Blade. Because <laughs> I'm small. Um, yeah. Um, Blade a Dagger comes to and uh, is looking around the room like if anyone is paying attention, it's like they've been there before or they have been like waiting for this moment. Hmm. Interesting. And if anyone is listening, they hear finally the visions have come true. Time to avenge my grandmother. It's like they have been waiting for this moment all their life. All right, so cats roll perception. <laughs> you are too busy uh, experiencing the trauma of rebirth to hear, uh, to hear the whisperings. I'm just like, oh, hey, I see you have dragon chests. <laughs> I mean, that was cool, but cats didn't hear you, apparently. And uh, Steve did not come back. Oh, well, that, that wasn't for anyone but myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, meta me knows, but I just see yeah. you have dragon chest in game. Dragon chest? It's apparently a board game that you can bring. Oh, chess. <laughs> yeah. yeah no not team. chess. Yeah. Chess. Yeah. I was going to say, if you're dragging your chest, I might recommend a brazier. Never mind. It wasn't a very good joke. Or, or just, like, roll over into a grave. <laughs> Time takes us all. So while Yanara cleans up, we are bonding while playing dragon chess. That's canon. There you um, go. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, the mi- the minute um dagger hits whatever this landfall is, they are like takes a second, whispers to themselves, and then is like alert and ready to go. It's like like they th- and did the clock you last second and the, Oh, I didn't expect someone to be here with me. Are are you ready to fight? Are you ready to win? I was just finishing setting up this this game board, but I I guess we do need to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll come with you. You can see the disgust in their eyes that you are sit here and do nothing. When there's so much to do. Leave that here. You will have no need for it. Where? How? I mean, I you could... I, uh, uh, go ahead. I, I ignore you and carefully pack up the game board. Dagger just stalks off. Okay. All right, now to read what this sheet says. <laughs> okay, Steve, what are you up to? Well, all this- just waiting for companions. For some reason, uh, the phrase... Creating lobby and matchmaking in progress seem to flow through your mind. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can hear some type of music. What is that? You have companions. Did either of you? So you? So I know that John. I know you respond. Cats. Did you change, or did you stick with the wizard? I am still the wizard. Okay. 
All right, so Steve, uh, the wizard that you didn't get much chance to know and a different fighter come around uh, from the door from the starting area. Add DM, just a heads up. I'm not going to use a shield, so I'm, if I forget, I have a minus two to my AC, so I should be 16. Not okay. AC, if I do say so. Okay. I'm writing it. I'm writing it down. John 16 AC. Yeah. Because I'm going to ha two hand my hammer. All right, you may do what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm basically just walking out because I saw my whole life. I've been having visions of this room, this area, and like the constant like budding of heads of my ancestor to the skeletons. And it is finally my time to succumb to death and to death's maze. Oh, okay. Death's maze, I like that. Yeah. So I was I was gonna do a cleric when I could have the death death cleric, because I thought that would be more like in in line with having visions of death and like an ancestor. Right, I feel you. I feel you. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I can, if I unlock it down the line, I can have that. So it's just a lineage of like every time someone dies for good, their 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 lifetime in this uh, dungeon is sent to their prodigy, who is ever living at the time. I like it. I like it. There's a what's that? There's a game that's like that. Um, let me think. But there's a, there's a game that's like that because each of each generation picks it up, and sometimes it's mechanically different. Like sometimes um, I, they'll have I, a different I, jump distance, or uh, they'll have different weapon proficiencies. Some will have like might be colorblind. Like it's a really cool idea. I just can't think of the name of it. Is this a tabletop game or is this a PC game? Probably a PC game. I know it's on Steam. I don't know if it's on consoles. Um, do you know when it came out? Because I probably have it because I know two that kind of goes that way. Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. I cannot. I just can't it, think of it. Is it Silton Seed? Hmm. Okay, I'll look it up. Continue, continue. I'll look. All right. I can't. Yeah, I, I'll. I can't think of it. Okay, so you're in. You guys are in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So I. So I meet this um. Dwarf again. Dwarf. E. Ah, oh, fair maiden. How long have you been down here? couple of hours as far as I can tell. Hours? I've seen you in my dream for years. Ha. Time must flow differently here. How unfortunate. I mean, I can work with that. That's actually kind of an interesting concept. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Remember, my my characters are stupid, <laughs> so they don't know. No, 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 no. That's that's cool. I like it, and I can work with that. So yeah, so you guys are loitering in the hallway. I'm waiting for you guys to say what you're doing. Well, I'm gonna go get my knives. Okay. I uh, do you like a. What's that check in this in this game? Search or investigate or something? It's investigate, right? 
Just to look around to make sure you find them all. Investigation check. I'm polishing my signet ring and looking bored. Oh shit, this isn't going to go well. It's going to be a straight roll. Oh, the straight rolls are the worst. Give me a queer roll any day. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a good number. Yep, you managed to locate all of your daggers and your javelin. And while you're poking about, you do notice this interesting looking statue over here on the back wall that the skeletons were standing in front of. Uh, DM, was it Kinseed that you were thinking of? Or Wildermyth? I, I'll look it up. And I'll put it in uh, in the chat uh, after I after we're done. I just can't. I don't know if it's one of those. Okay. Just concede is the one that's closest to the script. It could be. I'll I'll have to like look on Steam a little bit later. <laughs> yep. So Steve, you recover all your daggers, and you notice this uh, <sighs> statue that says "Outstretched Hands" and. A bowl of some type in it that it's holding, but you can't quite see in the bowl unless you get a closer look. I'll take a closer look, sure. Okay, in the bottom of the bowl, there's a that you feel a kind of uh, you see and you feel a bit of energy, like a, a spark of energy in it. Uh, I can cast Detect Magic. I really don't know how to describe what's... It's not really a school of magic. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Fuck, I don't know how to describe this, cats. Uh, it's... it's ma I mean, it's magic of a sort. Um, it, I mean, it says he learned at school, if any, and so... All right, Maybe but it's it, it's not anything that you would be cons that you would construe as harmful. It gives you kind of a good vibe, I guess is the best way I can put it. I just look confused and tell the others that it it doesn't seem harmful, but I really don't know what it is. I I will take a uh, dagger. Will take a look. Um, is, is it liquid, or is it what is inside the? Just like a a glowing, occasionally pulsing light. You feel feels kind of warm. You feel a little bit drawn to it. Hmm. Dagger puts their hand into the light. You put the hand, you put your hand into the light, and yeah. you feel a righteous warmth flow up your arm. You all have unlocked Paladin as a class. Mm. That's cool. You're welcome. <laughs> I will try to do the same thing. Uh, well, Let's see if I get a different effect, the bowl is now empty, <laughs> but it is unlocked for everyone. I claw at the bottom of the bowl. Nothing happens. <laughs> Nothing happens. But, but yes, you have unlocked Paladin from doing that. Sounds exciting to me. Well, if we are, if we, if you are going to be working for me, you will want to be the one putting your hand in things from now on. I just wanted to show you what is expected of you, like any good ruler. 
You better stay five feet away from me. See a dagger of poison. I will smite you where you stand. You're not a paladin yet. You just. <laughs> oh, no. Re- read my um, read my background. Okay. I'm oh, really? Noble. What house are you from? I produce my scroll of pedigree. I'm from a house. From a house of blade. If you don't know it. That is you, your fault, not mine. Oh, yeah. I remember I saw that movie. Uh, about It was about vampires. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is a movie? We, we nobles go to plays and sons. It's, and it's, like, it's like that, except better. <laughs> well, the only vampires I know are either dead or in my court. Well, of course they're dead. They're vampires. <laughs> Who are you talking to anyway? <laughs> if you have noticed, Dagger has been talking to herself. A conversation that makes no sense. All right, so we, uh, let's see. So from all of that, you guys, I will say you went ahead and you leveled up to three. And since there's a third person, three people can participate. You can, uh, so this is something I explained to Steve and Katz. So uh, since we're getting close to 830, it's close, we're getting close to wrap up. Because um, nine is not far, and I don't know what I'm going to throw at you that's only going to take 30 minutes. Um, hmm. So it works like this. Again, starting with the player's handbook, you have the option to choose one race or one class to unlock. Sometimes you'll find them as a bonus unlock, like you just did. Mm-hmm. Or, when you level up, you can choose to instead roll for it, and if you roll for it, you can roll for one race and one class. But since you're rolling for it, it's all luck what you get. Oh. I so am if, down rolling for it. <laughs> all right. So if there's something you're really jonesing for, you can pick it. But if you're not worried about it, you can roll. Like I'm going, I, I'm down for rolling for it. So either you have a one you want to pick, you've got to convince me. Well, all of you get to do it is the point. And since there's more people, you unlock things faster. Oh, I thought we, I thought we only get one choice. We all have to agree. I meant, no, 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 sorry, I didn't explain that clearly. I meant you each individually, when you level up, get to pick. Oh, yeah. Then I will definitely be rolling. Okay, so so let's, um, okay, let's see here. Rolling for one race and one class. One second here. Let's see, what race, let's, let's see, let's start, with, let's do classes first. What classes, eh. Let's see, so you guys have... Fighter, Rogue, Cleric, Wizard. He unlocked Sorcerer last time. And Paladin today. Yep, correct. And then Paladin this time. All right, so that leaves, I believe it leaves Monk. Ranger. Uh, who am I? What am I not thinking? Let's see. Let me just go to the class list. That's probably the easiest way to do this instead of fucking around and trying to be cool and do it for memory. Monk, Ranger, Warlock, maybe? Oh, there we go. It's a Barbarian and Bard, Barbarian. yes. Barbarian, Bard. Druid. Spider-Man, Paladin, Ranger, and Warlock. All right, so if you're going to roll to unlock a class, that's a D6. Since there's only six left. Five. 
Number five, you have unlocked Druid. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so races, you've already got Elf, Dwarf, Halfling, and Human, and Half-Orc. That leaves Dragonborn, Gnome, uh, Half-Elf, which... you Did we have that unlocked? I know you rolled one. Yeah, I think so. That's why I, I picked it. Let, let me yeah. check. I think that was like our first unlock last session. It was? Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see, half orc. Because I do remember that Steve wanted half orc for the strength. Yeah, and I just rolled. Well, we, I manually unlocked. So I should stay here. Um, half orc last time. Right, you didn't roll for it. Correct. So I'm just sure. I don't think we had half elf, but we'll just let that one. We'll let yeah, that one. That one we, might. we did, I believe. I think it was one we rolled for. Um, okay, we'll just we'll just put it down. Sorry, I'll, roll, I'll just note it. Uh, you told me earlier today we have human elf dwarf halfling half half orc. Fighter, wizard, cleric, rogue, and sorcerer is the things that were unlocked. Okay, all right. So half elf has not been explicitly unlocked yet. So we're just gonna we're just gonna let that one go for right now, and we'll we'll address that in a moment. Um, or to roll a different character since I we haven't done any battle combat or anything. I'll roll a different character. Well, and well let's play. let's let's see what shakes out. Someone might get half elf. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah. So we got unlock druid. Okay, roll to unlock uh, either dragonborn, gnome, half elf, or tiefling. So just a d4. There's not that many races. Uh, two. Two. Yeah, unlocked gnome. Yeah, no way. Okay, uh, Pats and Steve, who wants to go next? I guess I will. Sure. Do you want to have one that you want to pick, or do you want to roll, you want for, to roll it? for it? Roll for it. All right. So let's see for classes. Let's see for classes. We have remaining. Monk, Ranger, Barbarian, Bard, and Warlock. So, uh, D10 divided by 2. So, roll a D10. Uh, John, hey, John, I can't I see it. I, I rolled a 1. Sorry. A 1? All right. So... Well, that's monk either way. Cool. Okay, unlocked monk. All right, roll for race. That's so all we have left for that is just dragonborn, half elf, and tiefling. So d6, and then we'll divide it by two. Five. You can't really divide five by two. I didn't think that through. Okay, so one to two. Is dragonborn two to three would be half elf, uh, three and four would be tiefling. You got five, so that'd be tiefling. Okay, uh, I'll roll as well. Um, I'm pushing for tabaxi, so let's just mow through these handbooks. Yep. All right, so for race remaining is just Dragonborn and Half Elf, really. So D4, evens you get Dragonborn, odds you get Half Elf. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Unlocked Half Elf. Okay, and then roll for a class. Uh, D D10. D10, please. All right, no, no, excuse me, D4. I apologize, because you already got Monk. My bad. 
You have uh, you, you have unlocked Barbarian. Sweet. My personal favorite, especially at low levels. All right, so yeah, you guys unlocked half elf, so everything is good. You don't have to recreate your character if you don't want to, and you have a number of new options available for the next time you die. Yay. This was so much fun. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And um, I do have to work in the morning, so we're going to... It's a little bit early. We usually try to go to 9, but i um, going to call it here. So, John, thanks for joining us. Thank Kat you for having Steve. me, guys. Absolutely. Cat, Steve, as always, always a pleasure. Yes, yeah, likewise. Likewise. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to say bye, Craig, and stop the recording. Bye, Craig. It really doesn't say bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.